Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town and today's video is all about makers. As you can see, there are quite a few makers in this game, there's actually 22 different ones and especially when you start playing, they can be quite confusing at first and overwhelming, especially as a lot of them are doing very similar things and it can be hard to understand which one to use and how to unlock them so in this video I'm gonna go over each one individually and tell you how to unlock them, how to use them and if I have any tips or tricks I'll make sure to let you know along the way so just before we start I just want to mention that this video is being recorded on version 1.0.3 of the game however the developers have already mentioned that they were planning to make some tweaks to the makers so I'm not sure what these changes will entail exactly However, just keep in mind if you're watching this video maybe weeks or months after the upload date, make sure to take a look at the description and if there's any updated video or if there's any important information, I'll make sure to put all of that in the video description. But yeah, as of version 1.0.3, that is how the makers are working. Yeah, I guess let's just start with these ones, the simpler ones. Alright, so let's start with this one. You're probably already familiar with it, but it is the Lumber Maker. You will unlock it after you reach level 2 of logging, so probably on your first day of playing the game and basically what it does is it transforms logs into lumber so it takes three logs transforms it into one lumber and there's five different types of wood in this game so each one of them will take a different amount of time but yeah that's pretty much it for this maker there's really not much more to it and now let's go to the ingot maker so quite similarly you will unlock this one very early when you reach level two of mining and this one will transform ores that you can get from mining into ingots, so very useful for upgrading your tools. And so basically this one will take 5 ores to transform them into 1 ingots. And also each of these 22 makers in the game, they all have their own giant version. Uh, so just for saving space in this video, I just placed a few giant makers. But we're gonna take a look at this one for example. As I said, so the small ingot maker, you'll, you'll put 5 ores and get 1 ingot. But in this one, you'll put 10 ores and get 3 ingots. So all of the giant makers will be 1.5 times more efficient than their small version. So for the giant lumber maker, you'll need to reach level 10 in logging. And for the giant ingot maker, you're gonna reach level 10 in mining. Alright, so the next one is the jewel maker and I'm getting lots of questions about this one. Uh, so how it works is fairly simple. So all of the jewels, so there's white opal, red burial, ruby, sapphire, emerald and diamond. So you just put one stone and you're gonna get one jewel out of it and it takes 23 hours. So that's one of the longest times for the makers. And a lot of people are asking me, is it worth keeping the jewels? Or selling the jewels because they are quite valuable especially the diamond you can sell for over 10,000 G so it they're a good way to make money and so I would say for the most part they are safe to sell uh, they are used mostly if you want to craft some jewels so if you want to craft the Bengal you're gonna need some emerald there's also a watch, a ring, a pendant. So I would say if there's a marriage candidate that you're really interested in and if they really like a certain jewelry, maybe I would keep them just for that person. And also there's, of course, the big jewelry maker <laughs> needs a lot of jewels, but then again, is it worth it? Because it's really expensive. And also after marriage, there's a wedding dress that you can buy from the beauty salon and I think it needs 10 diamonds. But if you're not interested in the big jewelry maker, if you're not interested in making this jewelry, if you're not into the wedding dress... Oh, and also there's this chest right here that needs a little bit uh, of sapphire, ruby, and emerald. So if you're into these items, I would say maybe keep them. If not, don't be afraid to sell them because they're going to make you a lot of money. So oh yeah, as for me, for the most part, I just sell most of them. Oh, and yeah, you'll unlock the jewel maker when you reach level 6 in mining and the giant version at level 10. And over here we have the brick maker. So this one only has a one function and it is to transform clay in bricks. And uh, that's pretty much it. So bricks is used mostly for brick paths and fences and a few other things. Most importantly, these suction pumps. So if you want to drain the ponds on your farm to get some treasures, or if you want to repair the hydroculture plant, this one will need 20 pumps. So I would recommend to start early in the game to make some bricks so you can make pumps and repair the hydroculture building. So the brick maker, you will unlock it when you reach level three in draining and you'll get the giant version when you reach level 10. And if I have one recommendation to make, maybe the brick maker, ingot maker, 
lumber maker especially ingot and lumber maker are probably the ones that you want to have the most on your farm so each maker you can have up to 20 of them so i would recommend having as much as you're comfortable having they're just the more you have the more productive you're going to be and the giant makers you can have up to five of them so if you really want to be productive you could have five giant ingot makers and 20 small ones and also some people have been asking me, can you put extra makers, for example, if you come in this uh, seasonal garden? So could you have like 20 makers on your farm and then 20 more in this seasonal garden? No, you cannot. There's no way to bypass this limit. So it's 20 in total. But yeah, that being said, let's move on to the next makers. All right, so now we're gonna talk about animal products. The first one right here is the mayonnaise maker. You'll unlock mayonnaise maker when you reach level two in animal care. So you'll get this one quite early in game and you'll get the giant version when you reach level nine in animal care. So most of all the other makers, you'll get the giant version at level 10, but this one you'll get it at level nine. And what it does is it transforms egg into mayonnaise. So it's pretty straightforward. And the thing to keep in mind is that with the white eggs, you will get one mayonnaise but with the silk chicken eggs you'll get two mayonnaise so what i do usually is i always put my silk chicken eggs first so it, they just give me more mayonnaise and you can make more money that way but yeah that's pretty much it for the mayonnaise and then for the yogurt maker so the yogurt will transform any milk into yogurt You'll unlock it at level 3 of animal care and get the giant version at level 10. And no matter if you put the cow milk, goat milk or buffalo milk, it will always give you one yogurt. But if you put a superior quality like a milk plus, uh, it will give you more. So that's the same for all the animal products. Actually, if you put the plus version, like the superior version, it will give you more. So as you can see, instead of one right here, I get three. So I always recommend transforming them because you're just going to get more value in the end and make more profit that way. So yeah, basically yogurt maker will transform one milk into one yogurt. And then we have the butter maker. So the butter maker, you will unlock it at level four of animal care and get the giant version at level 10. And the butter maker transforms milk into butter. But the interesting part is that if you put goat milk, you get two butter instead of one. So the cow milk, one butter, buffalo milk, one butter, and goat milk to butter so i always recommend using the goat milk for the butter and then we get to the cheese right here so if i put my regular milk one cheese goat milk one cheese and buffalo milk two cheese and if i put the buffalo milk plus i'm gonna get six cheese so definitely i'm gonna go and do that so yeah just keep that in mind for the milk maybe always put your cow milk in the yogurt your goat milk in the butter and your buffalo milk into cheese. Oh, and yeah, the cheese maker you will unlock it at level five of animal care and the giant version at level 10. All right, so the next part is <laughs> the confusing one. Once you get the gist of it, it's quite simple, but at first I was so confused with these, especially as they all look so similar, but it's everything you need to make clothes. So this first one right here is the thread maker. So in this one, you'll put grass. Of course, there's five different types of grass in this game. So uh, each one will give you a different thread. But basically, you're going to need three grass and it's going to give you one thread. So once you're done with your thread, you're going to go over here. This one is the textile maker. So you need to make three threads first. So remember, this maker is just going to give you one. So ideally, you would need more than one of these. Uh, you're going to put three threads in this and it's going to give you one cloth. Then this cloth is going to be used to craft a few different recipes as well as to order clothes. So for now, let's just put it back in the chest. So that's to make cloth from grass. And then this one here is the yarn maker. So with this one, you're going to put the wool. So here I have some alpaca wool as well as some superior alpaca wool, who's of course going to give me more yarn. But for this purpose, let's just use the regular one and it's going to give me one yarn. And once I have my yarn balls, I'm going to put my yarns here. So you need two yarn balls and it's going to make a kind of fabric from the yarn. So basically this cloth and this one together. So these two are the ones that you will need. If you want to get clothes from the beauty salon, you're going to need these two. There's no point in just hoarding the yarn or hoarding these. You'll always have to transform them. So yeah, make sure you keep transforming them as much as you can into these two final products. Sorry, I just reloaded my save file because it was getting late. Uh, but I just want to go over when you unlock them. So these two, you will unlock them when you reach level three and four in reaping. And you'll get the giant versions when you reach level 10. 
And these ones, you'll unlock them when you reach level 4 and 5 in Animal Care. And you'll get the giant versions at level 9. Alright, so let's continue here with the Spore Maker. And growing mushrooms is one of the best ways to make easy money in this game. So this one is quite important. You will unlock it when you reach level 6 of Cultivating. And you'll get the giant version at level 10. And it's pretty straightforward how it works is that you put one mushroom and then gives you one seed in return. At first this might not seem like such a good deal, however it is because keep in mind that once your cultivating skill is higher, you will get like 4 or 5 mushrooms per mushroom log. So you'll plant one seed and then you'll get like 4 mushrooms back. So it is definitely a really good deal and I definitely recommend you try to make as many mushroom spores as you can. And it's also necessary if you want to improve the quality of your spores and your mushrooms because in the general store you can only buy 0 star spores. So let's do this. And over here we have the honey. So just like mushrooms, it's a good way to make some money in this game. So to unlock the honey maker, you're gonna have to reach level 3 in the beekeeping and you'll get the giant wand at level 10. And also pretty straightforward. So you just put some honeycomb and it transforms into honey. You can also make quite a bit of money just by selling the honeycomb by themselves. But by transforming it, you'll make it a bit more. So it is worth it. And it just takes 2 hours, so it's not too long. And also if you're curious to make the best honey in this game, you have to use the hellebore, which is a flower that only grows in winter. And to be able to buy the hellebore seeds, you're going to have to find a wild one that's going to spawn on your farm in winter in area 3. So after you've sold one wild one, you'll be able to buy it from the store and grow it by yourself. And it is the most valuable flower that gives also the most valuable honey. So maybe go for that. And speaking of flowers, so right here we have the paint maker. It is one of my favorite ones. You'll have to reach level 5 in field work and you'll get the giant wand at level 10. So pretty straightforward as well. You just put a flower and depending on the color of the flower, you're going to get a different color. And also the higher the quality of the flower, the more paint you're going to get. So for example, here I have a zero star flower. It's giving me one paint. This one, this two star flower is giving me two. This one, this six star is giving me three. So always try to use higher quality flowers. And I'm missing the black rose currently, but there's also a black paint. I'm actually going to show you all the different colors. All right, so I've actually got all of the colors available in the game. So if you didn't know, you can actually customize quite a few items. So for example, all of the different boxes, also like benches and tables street lamps so yeah there's quite a few items you can customize in this game so i just want to give you a quick overview of all the colors so this one is red by default and basically you just have to take your paint and press y so that's white oh it looks pretty good like this then you've got purple blue yellow green and pink so yeah, it's always fun to have some paint and play around with that. And there's also some paint that you're going to need for clothing from the beauty salon. So it's always useful to have as many different colors as possible. And actually, there's just so much you can do with flowers in this game. Usually in Story of Seasons, I never grow that many flowers. But in this game, there's honey. There's the color. There's also these essences. For the essence maker, you'll get this little one at level 5 of communication and the giant wand at level 10. So essences are used to make perfume. So if you go to the florist, you can make some perfumes using these essences. Uh, so if you put a flower, you're going to get a floral essence. If you put a fruit, you're going to get a fruity essence. And if you put a bouquet, so to make the bouquet, you have to go once again to the florist and give different flowers and you're going to get this. It's going to give you a bouquet essence and using these essence, then you can craft a perfume, which are great gift options for certain villages. And just one thing I noticed for the bouquet. So you cannot use this bouquet. So this one is the Earth Concerto. I don't know if it's different in English, but basically it's the bouquet that is made with wildflowers. So Moondrops, Magic Red, Magic Blue and pink cat but you cannot use this to make the essence and uh, same thing you cannot use these four wildflowers to make colors so basically to make color and essence you have to use flowers that could grow from a field right you cannot just use the wildflowers all right so next we're gonna talk about seeds so i'm gonna go right here to the seed makers so the seed maker is quite straightforward it makes seeds so usually you put one crop and you get two seeds and so if you want to make flower seeds, that's the seed maker that you have to use. If you want to make seeds for your crops, that's what you're going to use, as well as fodder and tea. And keep in mind that there's also some crops, such as leek, that has a giant version. 
and these ones will make you so much more seed so i always keep my giant or my special crops for the seed maker as you can see right here i just have to put one leak one giant leak and i get six seeds which is so much it it is definitely worth it instead of selling them i always recommend to just keep them keep all of your special crops to make seeds and i also think that the giant seed maker is definitely worth it first of all compared to other giant makers it is not that expensive you need some auricalcon but everything else is quite reasonable and so if i put one giant leak in this i'm gonna get actually i have to put two but i'm gonna get 18 seeds which is quite a lot so i definitely recommend that and for the seed maker you will get the small one at level 6 of field work and the giant one at level 10. And all of the other seeds that you cannot make with the seed maker you'll have to use the seedling maker. So if you want to make rice and wheat you'll have to use the seedling maker. Why don't they work in the seed maker? I'm not sure but you have to put them in there so that took me some time to figure out. And also for the fruit trees you're gonna have to use the seedling maker. So you'll unlock the seedling maker when you reach level 6 of our charting and at level 10 you'll get the giant one and there's also some fruits that have special versions just like the crops like the leek so for the fruits in spring you can get a giant avocado in summer you can get a golden peach and in autumn you can get golden apples so similarly as these giant crops their special fruits will also give you more seeds so if you ever get them unfortunately i don't have any on me right now but they will give you more seeds all right, so these four makers are probably one of the most confusing. A lot of people mix them up and understandably so. So let's start with this one, which is the powder maker. So you'll unlock the powder maker when you reach level four of a field work and you'll get the giant one when you reach level 10. So this one is necessary for quite a few recipes. So the first thing you can do using oregano, sage, rosemary and lemon marigold is you can make these herb spices. And one thing to keep in mind is that even though they all make the same herb spice, they will give you different quantities. So if I put oregano, I'm just going to get one. If I put sage, I'm going to get two. If I put lemon marigold, I'm going to get three. And if I put rosemary, I'm going to get four. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, this is going to be needed in quite a few recipes. And the other spice that you can make is the hot spice. And for this one, you're going to need one chili pepper. So the chili pepper grows in autumn. And before you can buy the seeds, you're going to have to sell at least one wild one that will grow on your farm. And that's what you need to use to make hot spice. So just one chili pepper and you'll get five pots of hot spice after that if you use cocoa you can make some cocoa powder if you use coffee you can make coffee powder and if you use wheat you're gonna make flour so that's pretty much it for the powder maker so quite useful for cooking and over here we have the seasoning maker so the seasoning maker you will unlock it when you reach level three in cooking so quite early and you'll get the giant one when you reach level 10. So there's three different things you can make with this one. So using the sugar can, you can make some sugar. Using the rock salt, you can make some salt. And using the pepper fruit, you can make some pepper. Each one of them will just give you one. So it's quite straightforward, quite simple. But yeah, that's it for the seasoning maker. And then over here, we have the condiment maker. So you'll unlock this one when you reach level 4 of cooking and the giant one when you reach level 10 and basically this one makes all kind of sauces or like liquid things for cooking so if you put some beans you're gonna make soy sauce if you put rice you'll make vinegar and if you put olives you'll make olive oils and so once again these are all things you're going to need for cooking and over here we have the jam maker so this one you'll unlock it at level 7 of our charting and the giant version at level 10 and it just makes jam so that, that's pretty much it and one thing to keep in mind for these four makers is that the final product will always be more valuable than the raw material so for example if you make olive oil you're always gonna make more money than just by selling olives if you make flour you're gonna make more money than just by selling wheat if you make sugar you're gonna make more than just by selling sugar cane so it's not always a huge difference but definitely if you're planning to sell some of these materials i definitely recommend transforming them first and it's gonna allow you to make a bit more money all right guys so i think that's pretty much it i think we've covered everything in regards to makers i know there's quite a lot if i forgot anything or if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and i'll try to respond as much as i can if this video was helpful to you in any way feel free to click like 
and subscribe if you don't want to miss out more story of seasons content like this and just before we leave if you're interested in joining a fun community filled with wholesome people that like to talk about the game share tips and tricks and ask questions and just have a good time we have a discord server the link is in the description so feel free to join us it's always a lot of fun there so so yeah don't be shy and come join our little community and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next video